I like to say the wisdom of the Most High is the secret intel of heaven. He's given you, he's given you some intel. When you, go, when you get intel, you know if you get intel, that means you, you already go in knowing what's going to happen, what's, what the outcome is. Amen. That's why wisdom is called, when he says wisdom is the principal thing, or wisdom is principle. And principles are fixed laws. And when we operate from the place of wisdom and we operate from the place of a fixed law, we also know that there has been a predetermined outcome. Yes. So if we operate from the most highest wisdom, we already know the outcome. That's the reason why when you do things his way, you can praise in advance because you have an unfair advantage as far as the world is concerned. Because when I do it his way, I already know the outcome. Yes. Amen. That, pr- that produces confidence. Talk to me, somebody. So when you start talking to people about something you've never done, but yet from a place of confidence, it's because you are operating in the wisdom of the Most High, and you already know that if I do things His way, the outcome has already been predetermined. Yes, yes, yes. Man, I don't don't see how you can't get excited about that. Somebody said the outcome is already predetermined. That means, and I got to get back on my notes, that means that since the outcome has been predetermined, that he has already put the people and the resources in place. We just have to walk in the path that he has already designated for us. In other words, he, he, the path he's created is a straight line, but the straight line has obstacles. But the obstacles not are, are not, cannot impede your pros, pro, progress. The obstacles are there to prove to, that, whether or not you trust him. Uh-huh. Yes. Yes. Are you seeing what I'm saying? You, you, listen, listen, even if you're running in a track meet and you're doing hurdles, the finish line is still there. Amen. Right? You just got to clear the hurdles. Right? When you clear, the person that clears the hurdles the cleanest and the fastest, usually what? Right? All you got to do is, and most of the time, some of the things that you're doing right now is really practicing for the big race. You get so caught up in trying to win this little one, and you, and you know, listen, and you win it, and you keep testifying and living off that one forever, and he's like, no, nah, I'm getting you ready for the Olympics of life. Right? This is just... This, you're doing this just because you got to practice. You're making sure your form is right. Yeah. Yeah. You're making sure your faith is right. Yeah. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Talk to me, somebody say, I'm, I'm, somebody say, just turn to somebody and say, I'm working on my form. That's why you don't see me getting weary in well-doing. Because I know in due season I shall reap if I faint not. This is why I counteth all joy when I, when, I, when I fall into divers' temptation, knowing that the trying of my faith is work in patience. And when patience has had its perfect work, I shall be entire wanting nothing. Am I talking to the right people? And so, and so even, if, even if I, listen, I was watching the same boat, man, and he was running, doing, doing like this is uh, a couple years ago, they, they were showing some videos. And this joke of up until the Olympics was losing all of the trials. And he in that in that Jamaican voice, he was telling the man, I'm just working on my form. Like he didn't even care that he had lost those races. He was working on th- some things. He he was saying, well, this rate, this particular race, his focus was on coming coming out the blocks and getting his start right. Yes. And he was watching the film of it over and over and over again. So the next race, guess what? He got in there, he was like, he's working on coming out the blocks right. And he spent maybe three or four races doing that, even though he lost. Because mm-hmm. he know that this one ain't the big one. Yeah. That oh, won't man. nobody remember how many of the trials races yes. he lost. Yes. People are going to remember him winning the gold at the Olympics. See, you can't get focused on the stuff you're going through right now and get so caught up that you quit, you're working on your form. Ah. Am I I talking to the right people? And you mess around and you get all depressed in practice. How are you going to get depressed in practice? Practice is what you're doing so you'll be ready when the big one comes. Oh, man, somebody should have shouted right there. Somebody should have, somebody just work with me and get up and say, I'm working on my form. Y'all ain't going to help me in here.